Hi guys, my name is Mia Gems Girl and welcome to Mean Girls Spring Break. This is season three of Mean Girls. Now I know we haven't finished season two. We will get to it. I, th obviously season two was meant to be finished before we started season three. But hey, it's not. This is a very different backdrop than you're used to as well. Just so you know, we are in Singapore at the moment. We currently kind of travel around the world. I will link our vlogging channel down below if you want to go and check that out. But back to Mean Girls Spring Break. Pocket Gems has very kindly given me a link to give to you, my wonderful viewers, that you, if you go ahead and click on it, you will get 10 free gems and 10 free passes. I'll put the link in the top line of the description. So if you want to go ahead and get them, go ahead and click it. But let's go ahead and start episode one. Oh, here's Mika and Green Eyed. Okay, I'm going to miss you, Green Eyed. <gasps> Oh, everyone's going on spring break. I'm so looking forward to this season. <laughs> Gretchen's crying, of course. We're going to miss our flight. Where are Katie and Aaron? If they're not here in the next 30 seconds, spring break is going to be ruined. I vote we go to the airport without them. Of course she does. <laughs> Those two are a walking buzzkill anyway. You know they'd rather spend spring break binge watching dolphin saviors and brushing their teeth together. <laughs> Great, so it's settled. We're leaving without Katie and Aaron. They're only coming for the free hotel room anyways. Hold your horses, Gretchen. They'll be here any minute. If we don't leave for the airport now, I will literally hyperventilate. <laughs> Gretchen is being so annoying. She needs to shut up, calm down, go away outside. Uh, she needs to go way outside. <laughs> Scram, Gretchen. You're stressing me out. Fine. Maybe I will. Yeah, go. Oh, she's fainting. She's always fainting, that girl. <laughs> Welcome to Karen Uncensored Spring Break. Or should I say Spring Breakdown. If you can hear any noises, by the way, background noises, I do apologise. This is the only kind of place where I can record and there's people gardening, people doing a bit of construction, planes probably going overhead. Sorry about that, it's the best we've got at the moment, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Dun, dun, dun. Shut it down, Karen. It's Katie. Where are you guys? We're all in my room waiting for you two. Karen, are you sure you put Katie on the group text about meeting in my room before we leave for the airport? Positive. Or maybe I only dreamed I did. Does Katie have a pet dragon? What goes on in Karen's mind, really? We're already at the airport. Security was a madhouse. So get here. Okay, guys. Passport, phone charger, and of course, I never fly without my eye mask chewing gum reading material. Why would you need chewing gum? I'm going to go reading material. Reading material. Only you would bring homework to spring break. <laughs> it's a novel for pleasure. How? <laughs> okay, Janice. You drive with Karen so she doesn't get lost. The rest of you are coming with me. St. Jezebel's beckons. Oh, we're all very friendly, aren't we, these days? Well, apparently, I'm driving with Karen. So see you guys at my funeral. <laughs> Mika doesn't look very happy. Oh, because he's not coming, is he? I can't believe I'm not going. Our first spring break at college and we're apart. It sucks that you're missing spring break but it was pretty generous of your professor to give you an extension on that term paper. Yeah, still doesn't change the fact that my GPA is going down the drain. What happened, Mika? Mika was always so good in high school. Don't be so hard on yourself. Aw, Mika, what's wrong? It's just that there's something I really wanted to talk to you about. Oh my goodness, is he crying? Oh my God, I've never seen Mika cry before. Greenoid, I've been dealing with something and I wanted to tell you before you left but I couldn't find the right time and I'm scared. This is so, like, why is he doing this now as we're about to leave? Beep, beep. Yeah, come on, don't tell us. We don't want to know just as we're about to leave to have a good time. That's so awful of him. Step away from the boyfriend. I repeat, step away from the boyfriend. Mika, what's going on? Greenoid! Please don't ruin this for all of us. We're going to miss our flight. <laughs> I'm... Look, you should go. Oh my goodness. How, how can anyone do that? 
I don't want you missing spring break because of me. Clearly he does. Kiss him goodbye, press him for an answer. Do you know what? Kiss him goodbye. You shouldn't do that just when you're about to leave. I'll call you the second I land. <gasps> oh, here we go, off on spring break. I'm loving this so far. <laughs> on the plane, sleeping. Who can sleep on a plane? I just could hardly sleep on a plane. Over to Singapore, we had uh, two nights, two straight nights over um, on a plane. Like we got on the flight at like 11 o'clock at night and then we had to sleep on the flight. I probably got about three hours sleep in total. I was like a zombie when we arrived. Anyway, the pilot has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Thank you. Yikes. That book worked it like a sleep, that book worked like a sleeping pill. Boring. You're watching that again. What? It's good preparation. Plus, I have a crush on the host. <laughs> Let's watch it one more time. What is it he's watching? Welcome to fabulous St. Jezebel. Home to lush natural wonders. That looks nice. <laughs> Look at him. And the 43rd annual national Greek conference. He must be boiling in that suit. Delegates from universities around the nation will compete in two events to prove their poise, presentation skills and commitment to Greek life. Yay, poise! In the first event, delegates will take part in an on-stage interview to discuss their personal attributes, their houses and their campuses. Later delegates will face off as they present their vision for the future of the Greek system. Yay, future! See? Very egalitarian. Egalitarian? No idea what that means. The winning delegates take home a $100,000 scholarship, nice, and earn their school the title of Greek Campus of the Year, complete with a photo shoot for greekamag.com. So, see you in St. Jezebel's. Is that why we're going for this thing? Woo! I get that Regina's only after the photo shoot and beefing up her resume, but I still think it's lame she gets to compete and I don't. You know the rules, house presidents only. I still can't believe you're the president of Theta Chat. I can never say these things. Theta P Chi? P Pi Chai? <laughs> I don't know. And I can't believe you agreed to help me and Regina win this thing. Granted, you offered Regina a pretty sweet deal. Doing all of Regina's prep work for the competition in exchange for her half of the scholarship seems like an easy gig to me. If there's one thing Regina George doesn't need, it's money. That $100,000 scholarship is going to be ours. I can smell it. Knock on wood. The competition is going to be stiff this year. Not as steep as the student loan debt we'll have if we don't win this thing. But with you coaching Regina, we've got it in the bag. I feel, let's be excited. I'm excited about this. I really think we have a shot of winning this $100,000 scholarship. That's the attitude I like to see. Okay, so that's what we're going for. Oh, oh no. Oh no, this doesn't look good. <laughs> this can't be right. The brochure described this hotel as palatial. This room is like half the size of my maid's closet. What is that smell? It's like coming from the bedside table. That's a toilet <laughs> next to the bed. <laughs> well, UV put us up for free, so I guess you get what you pay for. This is a nightmare. Ooh, are there dragons? It's not that bad, you guys. It has all the amenities we need. Some beds, a door. Please tell me it has a hairdryer. Yeah, you know, the essentials, like a hairdryer. All part of St. Jezebel's charm. Ah! What's happened? Nothing, probably. Oh, there's a cockroach in the bathroom. Calm down, princess. It's not a big eating a rat. I stand corrected. That's pretty gross. I'm out of here. Oh no. So long. Wait, where do you think you're going? To find a hotel where the thread count on the sheets isn't lower than Karen's IQ. But Regina, we have to get ready for the National Greek Conference kickoff party. If I'm not mistaken, the kickoff party is not a mandatory event. 
not technically a mandatory part of the Greek conference, but first impressions are everything in this competition. Great to know um, I'll make an excellent first impression tomorrow after I find a five star resort to rest my head and sanitize my entire body. Toodles! If Regina misses the kickoff party, it could hurt our chances of winning. Uh, let's stop her. Regina, stop. You can find the five star resort later. The kickoff party may not be a mandatory event, but if you don't show up at all, it could hurt our chances of winning. Winning? I care more about not getting bed bugs than I do about a photo shoot and a vanity title. Well, Damien and I happen to care about graduating from college debt free, and that's only going to happen if we win the Greek conference and split the $100,000 scholarship. You want to win this, Greenoid? Here's my advice. Go work on my Greek trivia flashcards and leave me alone. She doesn't do anything she doesn't want to, does she, that girl? Well, that probably could have not gone worse. She'll come to the party. Just give her a few hours to find a five-star hotel, raid the minibar, and flat iron the humidity out of her hair. I hope so. We've got $100,000 on the line. Well, it's been fun, kiddos, but I gotta find someone who'll swap me and my gear to the Eco Reserve. I can't believe you'd come all the way to St. Jezebel and spend the entire trip camping by yourself. St. Jezebel's natural resources are being plundered by the tourism industry, and if I don't publish a century think piece about it, who's going to defend the plight of the Chicago fern? <laughs> it's good to have hobbies. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. I'll walk down with you. I need to call Mika before we head out, and there is a zero signal here. Probably all the lead paint on the walls. We can't get in touch with Mika. Ugh, what is the deal with the cell service here? Hey, green eyed. What's wrong? There's no cell service and I really need to call Mika. Any, are any of your phones working? Mine works. Awesome, can I borrow it, Karen? It just won't let me call anyone or post any of my streams to Karen Uncensored. So basically, no, it's not working. <laughs> She's a dope. I had one bar when we landed. Now it says searching for network. Forget about Mika, we're taking you shopping. Thanks guys, but retail therapy isn't what I need right now. Don't you want to look your best for the kickoff party tonight? Oh, right, I almost forgot. So, what do you say? I think we all need a shopping spree. Ooh, I guess a new outfit could help kick things off. Let's get a new outfit. We have gems, so we can use some 16 gems. Let's get a new outfit. Lead the way. Are we going somewhere? <laughs> yeah, we were, Karen. Ooh, we can pick a nice outfit. Okay, come out, come out, and strut your stuff. Show us what you got, girl. Ooh, nice. I like that outfit. Greenoid, is that you? Uh, yeah, Karen. Fits you like a glove, like a smoking hot glove. And those sunglasses look totally awesome. Yeah, I like the outfit. If Regina's a no-show, you might as well wear something as head-turning as what she would have worn. Somebody needs to show the National Greek Conference that us U of E kids have style and poise. This outfit will make heads turn at the kickoff party. Thanks, guys. I think I'll wear it. Come on, let's head down to the beach. Are we going somewhere? Off to the beach. This is a long episode, isn't it? Episode one. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, look at this, down at the beach. Our first St. Jezebel beach party. Let's take a picture. Would you mind? You guys, look this way. Oh, that's nice. Spring break with my besties. Gretchen, you didn't pose for the picture. I cannot believe this is happening. I know, if Regina doesn't show up here, we're majorly... Forget Regina! Stupid sun is melting my spray tan. Sweet, wonderful irony. <laughs> Meanwhile, Greenoid lighting up the island with this new look. Thanks for helping me find it. 
like I said, it's hot. People are checking it out. This is the exact kind of height building we need for U of A. I'm going to get all streaky. <laughs> Was that top always all orange in the back? What? Oh my god! It's ruining the pattern on my strapless tankini. It's not that bad. It almost looks like tie-dye. Or like you slept in a puddle of, of orange juice. It doesn't help that I'm standing next to green oil and her fabulous new outfit. I look like a hot mess of the century. Oh my god, I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> Doubtedly. I think our little standoff with Regina back at the hotel might cost us the competition. Come on, Damien, it's spring break. Try to enjoy yourself. How can he enjoy himself whilst one of his favourite resort wear garments is being ruined? How, indeed. Wait, I know. I can change into my black monokini. How do I get back to the hotel? What? The maps aren't working on my phone either. Maybe I can find a place in town to call Mika. I'll walk back with you, Gretchen. We should forget about Mika. It was, like, really nice of you to walk back with me. It's no big deal. This way, I can try calling Mika again without annoying everyone to death. Oh my god, look! A fortune teller! We're going. A fortune teller? Those things are... A sham? A sham. Such a sham. Don't waste your breath. I'm getting a reading. But what about your spray tan? I feel like I want a reading now. Look at her with the crystal ball and that wig. She even has an unsightly mole. It's just like the movies. Welcome. I've been expecting you. I could die. Green oil, I literally could die. Please don't. We don't have time for that. Or this, to be frank. How much? 32 million Jezzelines. Or five dollars American. Inflation has been awful in St. Jezebel. Sold. So, here's what I need to know. I'm thinking about putting copper highlights in my hair, but I'm not totally sure it works with my complexion. Would I be, would I be making a huge mistake? I see heartbreak. Love lost. Life lost. What? For you. For me? Phew. No, no, oh no, 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 no. You might need to polish that ball of yours. Miki and I couldn't be better. What if instead of highlights, I did like an ombre into honey blonde? How does that look in my future? I sense tears. Mika, he was crying. He was trying to tell you something. I know why. Wait, how did you know? Um, hello, I'm the one who paid for this reading. So can you, your true love's heart will turn from you and soon you, Greenard, will be no more. You will cease to exist. Be no more? What do you mean? Like, dead? Oh my gosh. She's like even psychicier than Karen. Let's get out of here. But I still don't know if I should dye my... Gretchen, come on. Like, that freaks me out. I, I don't know whether I believe in sort of fortune tellers and things. I would say no. But if I went to one and they said something like that, that would freak me out. Definitely. You will be no more, green eyed. Your true love will turn from you, and by nightfall tomorrow, you will be dead. Oh my goodness. Imagine someone telling you that. That's, yeah, that's the end of the episode. That's horrific. There we go, by nightfall tomorrow, we're gonna be dead. That's nice, isn't it? But that <laughs> completes the first episode. I'm gonna try and get the first four episodes up, maybe, in the next, 24 hours just to kickstart this season remember if you are playing click that link down below and get yourself 10 free gems and 10 free passes so you can get through the game i think i'm really going to enjoy this uh, spring break season but thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you guys soon for a new video